So it's Women's FA Cup final week. Arsenal women are here at Wembley to face Chelsea in the final on Sunday lunchtime. This is an over and over and over again Arsenal Women's FA Cup final special. Hello, my name is Rishi. Welcome back to my channel over and over and over again, the Arsenal podcast. In this video, we are going to look ahead to this weekend's big women's FA Cup final here at Wembley. Of course, Arsenal women playing league champions at Chelsea in what's going to be a fantastic occasion. We're going to look back at the history of Arsenal in the FA Cup final and Chelsea as well. We're going to look at the current form of both teams coming into this final. We're going to predict the lineups and we're also going to give a score prediction. Just before we get going, if you do enjoy the channel or you're new here, please consider subscribing. We do cover the Arsenal men and the Arsenal women's team here on over and over and over again. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a like as well. Drop your comments in the box what your thoughts are ahead of this big cup final. So there's lots to get through. So let's get started. So just like their male counterparts then, the Arsenal women's team have actually won a record 14 FA Cups in history. The first one was back in 1993, when the Arsenal women beat Doncaster Bells 3-0 in front of a crowd of 3,543 at Oxford's Manor Ground. The first goal scored by an Arsenal women's player in an FA Cup final was by fullback Michelle Curley. Living up to her name, she scored directly from a corner. That was the opening goal in that game. Arsenal went on to win 3-0. Of course, Arsenal do have a great record in this competition. As I said, we did actually win it four times in a row from 2006 to 2009. And that was during a run of six consecutive FA Cup final appearances for the Arsenal women, five of which were won. The only defeat came in 2010 when Everton won in extra time. Current captain Kim Little, of course, did score in three consecutive FA Cup finals for Arsenal between 2009 and 2011. And should she score on Sunday, she'll become only the third Arsenal women's player to score in four different finals following Julie Fleeting and Kelly Smith. Arsenal's last Women's FA Cup success came here at Wembley in 2016. It was a victory over Sunday's opponents, Chelsea. A goal from Danielle Carter won Arsenal that particular final. But two years later, Chelsea did get revenge here with a 3-1 victory. That was the last time Arsenal had played in this showpiece fixture that actually had a record attendance for this game as well, 45,423. As for Chelsea then, they've won the FA Cup twice. The first time was in 2015. That was the first final here at Wembley where they beat Notts County. And then, as I said, in 2018, when they beat us 3-1 here. They've also lost two finals here as well, the most recent of which was, of course, that 2016 final against us. So that's the history then of both of these two teams in the Women's FA Cup final. <laughs> So Chelsea are unbeaten in their last 13 matches in all competitions. And that's since the opening day of the season when, of course, they did lose 3-2 at the Emirates. They've won 12 of those games, actually. The only game they haven't won since then was a 3-3 draw in the Champions League against Wolfsburg. Since then, Chelsea have won their last eight matches in a row, conceding just one goal. But, of course, they do still trail Arsenal in the WSL by one point. So Chelsea's top scorer this season is Sam Kerr, who's got 14 goals in all competitions. And she's closely followed by Fran Kirby, who's got 10. Of course, we come into this final in good form as well. We're also unbeaten in our last eight matches in all competitions. That was, of course, since that defeat in Barcelona in the Champions League. And since then, we've only conceded just the two goals course, over the course of the season, we've actually played 18 games. We've won 16 of those games, drawn one and lost one. We've scored 61 goals and conceded just 10. Our top scorer, of course, is Viv Miedemar, who's got 13 goals in all competitions. And Kim Little is our second top scorer with 11. <laughs> So in terms of the lineups then, this is how Chelsea have generally been lining up for most of this season. They've got Berger in goal, of course, one of the best goalkeepers in women's football. They've generally been playing with a back three of Ericsson, Carter and Bright. In midfield, it's been Wrighton, Leopold's, 
Ingle and Cuthbert, although she might well play in this game. And then the three up front have been Kirby, Kerr and Fleming. Although, of course, Beth England as well has played quite a few games coming off the bench. And we know that she can score goals. They've also got, of course, Naomi Childs as well, who could feature in this game. For Arsenal, then, we're not expecting too many changes as long as everybody's fit from the international break. I think we'll start like this. I think it'll be Zinsberger in goal. I think the back four will be Moritz, Wuber, Moy, BT and McCabe. I think the free midfield will be Kim Little and just behind her will be Leah Walty and Frieda Manham. And then the free up front for this game, I think it'll be Beth Mead, Viv Meadermeyer and possibly Nikita Paris. We're not sure yet, are we, on the fitness of Tobin Heath or Mana Iribochi either. So they may well start this game on the bench. But that'll be the lineups I'll be expecting for this big cup final. <laughs> So a score prediction then, it's really difficult, isn't it, in these cup finals. We know there's not a lot to choose between Arsenal and Chelsea. We got the upper hand, didn't we, in that first game of the season and both teams have been on a great run of form since then. We've looked a little bit tired, haven't we, in recent weeks. We've been getting the results, but we haven't really been playing as well as we did earlier in the season. But then if you look at some of Chelsea's games, they probably haven't done either. Their recent game against Manchester City, although they ended up winning comfortably 4-0, there were spells in that game where Manchester City caused them a lot of problems. And if we can get them behind their defence, we can score goals against them. I think it's going to be a really tense game, a really tight game. But I am confident Arsenal will come out on top and make it 15 FA Cup final successes. I think the final score here at Wembley on Sunday will be Arsenal women 2, Chelsea women 1. So, big games to look forward to this weekend, isn't it? I'm going to be here at Wembley for the game, so I'll be doing some vlogging from Wembley. That's going to be really good. So stay tuned to the channel for that. Of course, in the meantime, there is loads of great stuff coming up on the channel. We have got, of course, a live watch along of the Manchester United against Arsenal game. That's in the men's side of things, of course. That is on Thursday, kickoff at quarter past eight. So I'll go live at eight o'clock for that one. Then, of course, on Friday, we're going to have the Arsenal women's show, the usual panel. And we are going to look ahead to this big FA Cup final. It's going to be a big show that. So please join us. That'll be starting at half past seven. And I say, then watch out for all the vlogging from Wembley on Sunday as well before we move in to another big game Monday evening where it's going to be away Arsenal away at Everton of course again in the men's section and again we'll be covering that live on the channel or watch along going live about quarter to eight for the eight o'clock kickoff there so loads of great stuff on the channel if you haven't done so already please consider subscribing please give this video a like if you've enjoyed it and please drop your comments in the box as well what your thoughts are ahead of this big FA Cup final and of course all the big games for the Arsenal men as well over the next few days. So it's a busy time of the season. It's busy for us on the channel. So thanks for joining us. Please stay tuned for all the great stuff coming up. Don't forget the women's show on Friday, 7.30, FA Cup final special. That's going to be good. In the meantime, of course, as always, as we move into a great FA Cup final weekend for the Arsenal women, come on, you gunners. Don't